Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Panda palette update. So it's been a little bit less than a month. Um, technically my updates are due every single month, but um, I am planning on doing my updates about on the 20th of each month. And um, I decided that I was just going to put everything on schedule right away in January, so that's why I'm filming today. Um, so then every other month it will also be on the 20th because I have a lot of videos coming up on the first week of the month. So I wanted to like move that one aside a little bit so that I don't have like a ton of videos in a week and then nothing else to post for the rest of the month. So this is going to be my first update for this project. I started it in um, on the beginning of the month. And this, I'm just going to remove the shadow that dance in below. I'm going to uh, start off by including a picture or a snap of a video of my uh, initial palette, the way it looked like before. And now this is what we're dealing with right now. So I have, well, here is where I'm keeping my bronzer, so that's where there's a weird um, black round. There are two shadows on which I did a lot of progress. I'm just going to try and zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like currently. So there are two shadows on which there's a lot of progress. The first one being this one. This is Virgin by Urban Decay. And from the last update, I already had pan showing, but right now there's a little, little bit of powder on the rims right here and right there. And then there's like a little bit uh, less than half, like somewhere between two thirds and half of the shadow in this section that's still pretty much full. So I plan on finishing these sides right here in next month and working on as much as I can of this side right here. I would, if I could finish it up completely next month, I would be super thrilled, but I'm not 100% convinced that that will happen. This is pretty much my least favorite shadows out of all of these. So if I could have that one done, I would be super thrilled. Um, then the other one that there's a bit of progress on is this one. And this one, as I mentioned um, in the first video, um, that I'm going to link the first video down below as well if you want to check it out. Um, but in the first video, this one, um, I told you that I had repressed it in the past. There's, there isn't a lot of it. It's a thin layer and there's a thin layer on all of the sides as well. So I managed to hit pan on that one using it as a line to set my liner. So, um, then the other ones that I did use this month, I think I used those two like once or twice during the month. This cream shade I didn't use at all because I was really targeting on that one. This shade I used a couple times but not too many. There's a little bit of a, you can see like the area in which I'm putting my brush. It's starting to have a little dip in it but nothing more than that. And then I've been using these two every single day as well. This is the one that I'm wearing in my crease. And then this one I was wearing a little bit all over the lid. So this one, these two you can see a dip in and then um, the other ones you can't really see a dip in these three. Um, so basically the look that I, I'm just going to focus back out. Okay. So what I've been wearing um, as an eyeshadow look for most of the month, like my everyday eyeshadow look lately, has been wear, wearing Virgin in under the brow bone as a highlight and then also putting it down first all over the lid and topping it with this shade right here that doesn't have a name um, but like this taupe, light taupey purpley shade I was, I'm was i wearing it on top of virgin um, I'm, the inner part I'm not, I'm only putting virgin in and then all of that two thirds I'm putting that over top right now it looks a lot darker than it actually looks like um, with normal lighting on uh, I'm filming at night so the lighting isn't as good as I would like it to be um, but basically that has been like my all over the lid and then this has been my um, um, crease shade every single day. I'm wearing it a little bit heavier than on most days today but that's what the one that I'm using in my crease. And then when I want to actually like enjoy my makeup a little bit more or if I was going out during the month I was using these three shades. So this one is all over the lid. And then I was using this one as a like the two thirds of my eye and then this one in the other V that is also a combo that I really like but I've been using only if I'm going out because I really am focusing on this one. 
Um, so then the other one that I hit pen on is the black one and the black one I was using to set my liner. I will be working on a liner in my upcoming project pen and it does not stay put if I don't set it. So I've been trying to use this. First off, I was trying to use this um, as a liner and not put anything on, anything on top but it just got um, to my bottom lashes a lot too much and I didn't like the look and then I tried using my liner on its own and it didn't work too too well either so um, putting my liner first and then putting that over top actually works pretty well so I'm hoping to do as much damage on this eyeshadow as I can. So my goals for next month are going to be to clean up as much of this eyeshadow right here as I possibly can and clean up as much of the black as I can as well and then I will also be working on these two to put a bigger dent in them. Um, I don't really think that I'm going to hit pan on either of these anytime during the month but I want to use them consequently all through the month. Um, hopefully I can finish this one in the month and then be done with it and then start using this one as a brown highlight and then this one as an all over the lid shade. We'll see about that but for now I really want to finish this bad boy. Um, also I've been using it a little bit as a highlight on the top of my cheekbones. I put it down before my blush and I kind of blend my blush into it. Um, so it's been helping to use it faster a little bit because I mentioned, as I mentioned it's not my favorite all of this palette. Um, so there's like too much of a bluish cool tone shift that I don't enjoy it too too much. So that is it for my update for my Panda Palette Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. If you are doing a Panda Palette as well for this year and I'm not watching you already, please link your videos down below so I can go and check those out. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye bye.